child. Start up on trading and it's minus eight. Humidity minus eighteen. Alright. Let's get started. From about the age of three or four years old, we love to run. We run away from our parents in retail stores, race our friends in school playgrounds, even chasing down your dog or your bus involves making our bipedal forms move quickly. Hey. This ability is so unique that only a handful of other animals on our planet have ever even evolved to run on two legs. And with this uniqueness, I feel like we'd be giving up a small part of what it means to be human if I wasn't running. As much as I really, really don't want to get up. Mornings like this are absolutely exceptional. So wearing a mix match of thrift shop shirts, shorts, Christmas gifted socks and undies, and shoes that are somewhere between comfy and financial burden, every time I leave the house, it's almost a free adventure. And my mentality with that is, why pay for a gym membership when I can just walk out the front door instead? It's free. I get to explore my own backyard from a slightly different perspective than if I was in a car or a truck or a bus. It's so exciting every single time I go out there. Another beautiful day out. I can't really feel my face now. Even after running for about 17 years or so, I still get so excited when it comes to signing up for races, being at the starting line and just the collective anticipation of the challenge ahead is intoxicating. I bloody love it. Crossing the finish line of my first marathon in Sydney, even after limping, vomiting and nearly passing out, it was all strangely euphoric. It's one of those things where the journey and the destination both were just as important and I had never had a sensation quite like that before. Since I started running, I haven't done any of this alone. Firstly, there's my mum, my dad, two sisters, and my granddad of almost 90 years old who have been instrumental in giving me a solid base support. Secondly, here in Settil, where Sol and I have stayed for the last year or so, there is a trail running group that I have just spent hours upon hours with running through the forests of Canada and it has been amazing learning a lot of the little techniques in regards to long distance running racing everything I kind of look up to these guys because all of them almost all of them I believe have done an ultra run or are still doing ultra runs and it is giving me so much confidence in regards to being able to complete my very first one Honestly, can't thank them enough. But without a doubt, my number one supporter would have to be so. She has been fantastic. When we first met, she told me I couldn't pay her to go for a run, let alone start in a race. She has now done four races, two of which she's won while being in Quebec. And we're at a point now where she is running with me. She's asking me to go for runs and being able to share something that I love with the person I love has just been, it's incredible. I hope I never take it for granted. I will now be attempting my first ultra marathon, which is gonna consist of about 50 kilometers in distance and about two kilometers straight up, which is just, it's mind boggling. And I'm gonna be following that the very next day with a 10 kilometer race and a further 700 meters of elevation. So to say the very least, I'm absolutely terrified. And one of the things that's gonna get me through it is that for every kilometer that I run, I will be donating $2 to the local food bank here in Settil, who provide 2,400 families with food every single year. I'm going to murder their name, but Comptoir Alimentaire de Settil are able to turn $1 of donations into $9 of food. Having been a teacher for the last year, this sort of thing hits home quite solidly. Seeing students coming into school without lunch or any food at all is absolutely heartbreaking. And I'd love to be able to support the local area in a way that is able to affect a lot of the kids that 
come to those schools. I'm certain that anything that you guys can give to these families will go so much further than you think. And with that, I'm gonna wrap up the video up here and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Cheers.